My name is Carlos Artiaga. I serve as director of the Simmons Cancer Center at UT Southwestern Medical Center and associate dean of oncology programs at the same institution. Uh, my name is Carlos Jujujera. I'm a medical oncologist. I work with research on the lung cancer field. I'm the current president of the Oncoclinicas Institute for Research that is based in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. The mission of the AACR is to enhance cancer science throughout the world, really. And one of the initiatives of our strategic plan is to also do that in uh, regions out outside the U.S., including Asia, Latin America, Canada, Africa, etc. I was uh, charged with leading a Latin American initiative the year I served as president of the association. So this meeting in Sao Paulo is the second uh, AACR Latin American Translational Cancer Medicine meeting. And it's a response to our initial conversations with leaders in the region in Latin America about where the AACR can contribute to the enhancement of cancer science in that region. The message we got was that we can contribute to what they see as a translation between the bedside and the bench. Uh, they have uh, a number of good uh, basic scientists, they have good clinical research, and they thought that they could use some help in that middle, uh, that uh, interface between both areas, that thematic glue uh, for which some of the AACR members have some expertise. So that's the mission of this meeting. I think the major idea is to influence uh, young investigators towards their career in, in translational cancer medicine. They are scientists that are in development, their career is in development, and if they see how you can build a career in translational research nowadays, probably this can motivate them to follow this kind of career track. This is where young investigators generate their agenda the research agenda for the rest of their lives. And for me, if I see the type of excitement in a meeting like this, that's gonna send me a signal that this is probably gonna be something good to focus the, my energies for the rest of my career. It's also a place where you meet mentors. Where you see examples that you may want to emulate and you get updated with the latest there is in cancer research and you get informed also of what are the trends what are the significant trends that we would like to focus in so they can focus their career in those aspects? In Brazil and Latin America, there is a gap between what basic scientists do and what uh, uh, clinical scientists do. And the idea to, to, in this kind of conference is to bring these two type of scientists together so that they can interact, so that the, the scientists in Latin America can have a flavor, an idea, how you can translate a basic science finding towards a clinical, uh, uh, or even a drug or a test that has clinical use. So the major idea of the meeting is to, to talk to the scientists and, and show them that that is possible to be done. And that's also possible to be done in Latin America. Actually, this is not, I'm a Brazilian, but it's not uh, something that is very particular from Brazil. It's particular from the whole Latin America. Dr. Gabriel Rabinovich, that's the other chair person of the meeting, has faced the same problem in Argentina. And we have talked to colleagues in other countries, the situation is the same. So that's the major importance of this type of conference in the region. There is a lot of tradition in basic science in Latin America and some transition in clinical science, but no transition, no tradition in the translational field. And that has many reasons. And one of the reasons is because there is no major discussion about that over the years. So that, I think, is the, the reason why ACR picked this topic to develop in the region.